if you are into testing whether it's a manual testing or automation testing test case plays a very important part in our day to day activity test cases are one of the most important part for any application right and writing test cases sometimes can be very boring even though it's very essential parts because most of the activities will be done with the help of test cases but as we all know writing test cases can be a tedious task if you have to write so many test cases in a day right now what if i tell you that you don't have to write the manual test cases obviously you will be making few changes few test cases you will be doing through manual but what if i tell you that you can generate test cases automatically that to without any coding that to without any programming with the just help of one extension it can generate test cases in plain english format not very technical whatever activities you do you will get the test cases with a single click yes hi everyone my name is mukesh atwani from learnhyperinformation.com in this video i'm going to announce one important tool or i will say plugin which can help you tremendously in your day to day activity while writing the test cases not only for writing test cases now suppose you raised a bug and now you want to write a defect okay now in that defect you will be writing all the information right the most important part is step to reproduce so if you if you want to do the steps to reproduce you can use this plugin and it can do wonders for you so let me show you what exactly this plugin is how you can use it one end to end guide i will show you and let me know if you need more videos on this so that i will get some more information how to integrate with different tools and so on so let me show you how you can use it so let's navigate to selectorshub.com so this is by sanjay kumar so first of all thank you so much sanjay for this amazing tools all these tools selectors hub test case studio testing daily auto test data all tools are amazing obviously they have some pro versions that is additional part but all these are for the community so today that we are going to talk about is test case studio which can help you to generate the manual test cases and steps to reproduce so you can navigate to selectorshub.com and just go to test case studio now you can directly go to the chrome store and you can do that as well it's totally up to you and right now this plugin is available for all the popular browsers so you can see chrome firefox edge opera brave chromium tor so let's continue with chrome i'm using chrome but feel free to use this with any other browser if you face any issue let me know directly or you can connect with sanjay as well the moment you click on install it will ask you to install this plugin again it's a safe plugin don't worry about it and if you see the five star rating more than 20000 users are already using so let me click on add to chrome and add extension and it says this extension has been added yes now this extension will not show you directly you have to click here and scroll down you will find test case studio so let me pin this and here is the test case studio how to use it now i'm using one sample application but feel free to use any application you have to use your own application and generate the manual test cases so once this is done let's say i want to write manual test cases for this application so what i will do first of all i will just give you some idea about this particular plugin so first of all you can set the test case name here in my case let me write this register new user this is the test case name that i have added the very important feature which i found is the screenshot it can generate the screenshot for each and every step that you will be writing you can see all the details it is showing which browser using what resolution and the time now let me show you this part so this is the button if you want to stop the recording you can stop here the moment i click on this plugin it started the recording so as of now um let me stop the recording first of all and you can see in case if you want to use some attribute for xpath and css you can select and deselect from here and this is the most important part click to add and remove column so let's say right now i can see six column right maybe i don't want xpath for writing the test cases maybe i don't want css i only need steps data expected result and the screenshot and we are good to go so now if you click on click to start recording recording is on already and this is my web application so let's say i want to create a new user and i will be landing to this page now i will continue here let me write the email address part now notice here it is highlighting as well okay so let me quickly fill this page automation testing mail select state let's say goa 
it's highlighting again and I prefer reading so click on reading the moment I click on sign up part and see I clicked here and it highlighted as well this is the very interesting part sometimes even few elements will come for a hardly few seconds even it is able to capture that as well now once it is done let's say I want to see I will click here once again and now you can see I got all the steps here now I can stop this recording and this is my test case ready first of all you can see it has identified first one is the number of steps that I have performed then the data expected result screenshots okay one by one open website it opened the URL then it clicked on new user sign up link enter Mukesh this is the text data right then again this is the email and good part is it is masking the password okay so whatever password I have entered it is already showing in a mask then click 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 select click and finally right now in this application I did not perform any scrolling but if you have a scrolling it can do the scrolling record as well perfect so once you are done with the test cases you can see this option called test case the moment you click on this it will start downloading the test case okay you don't need to copy here you can download as Excel and then you can use this to any test management to tool that you're using okay so whether it's a Jira test rail or any other test management tool you can simply copy paste this data and continue so let me click on desktop I want to save everything on the desktop now it will ask me in case if I want to rename I can rename it right now I want to keep register new user click on save so it already one it has downloaded already one excel file as you can see dot xls now it is downloading one more folder for the screenshot so that you if you whenever you want to use screenshot you can directly take the screenshot and continue so again I will not change this let me keep on the desktop again so let's open this excel sheet once again and it will give you this alert it says do you want to open it anyways I will say yes and yes my excel sheet is ready here now whatever details you don't want you can remove it okay so right now it has given you all the steps plus the test data and the expected result you just need to add the actual result and you can start executing the test right now I'm showing in Excel so I'm manually adding this column but let's say whenever you're using in test management tool you will be getting the expected and actual results so you have to modify a few things from your side what is the actual result what is expected if it is mismatch then you have to raise a bug now if you do only want the steps you can copy and you can continue right in case if you want to change the test data you can directly change from here or you can directly change once you start writing the test cases in the test management tool so this is one of the most uh, important part which I wanted to show you another interesting part is this zip file that we will be getting so you can see I got the zip file and now I got the screenshot for each and every step so if you see this uh, mapping part for each and every step there's a screenshot so open website there's a screenshot so website was loading at that particular point of time right so it is even capturing that part let's say I type this one enter location to name and if you open this part it has highlighted that can you see this part it has highlighted for which particular step and what exactly we are doing so all things are very important so you don't need a screenshot basically for each and every step but in case if you want to raise a bug you need the screenshot right sometimes you need the recording uh, of the screen as well but here it is generating the screenshot just want to highlight one more part you can see upgrade to pro so if you click on pro version so pro version obviously have many different options and you also get a trial for seven days in case if you want to give a try with pro please go ahead and obviously pro features or I will say the pro version will have a lot of new features right that will definitely add in the productivity so definitely give a try and let me know if any updates and if you see the pricing is $50 per year that's all for this video if you like this extension if you like this tool please rate on Chrome store and in case if you have any feedback feel free to connect with me or Sanjay and we would love to hear your feedback in case if it's completely new to you then please share with your friends colleagues who are working in manual testing and even automation it can save a lot of time for them yeah so that's all for my side an important part in case if you're new to this channel then make sure you subscribe this channel so that you will get more updates like this and I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care